Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a print layout in QGIS. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. And just to show you, I'm using QGIS version 3.16.16 Hanover. Um, everything I'm going to show you today should be compatible for previous releases or anything um, newer than this. And what I'm going to do first is actually add a Google hybrid base map to my web map here. Just to give me a little more point of reference. I'll leave a link in the description down below on a video I did about adding that plugin so you could pull in some Google street map imagery. So I did, I just zoomed into an area called Boulder, Colorado and just just for this example so i'm going to need some features in here so i'm just going to get some building polygons here and to do that i'm using this plugin which is the quick osm quick open street map i did a video not too long ago on this and i'll leave a link in the description down below as well basically what this does is i could pull in any feature from open street map such as roads um, and buildings and uh, it, pretty much anything really and the great thing is it comes directly right into QGIS so if I just go over here to buildings I could even be specific on what kind of buildings I want but I'm just gonna say retail again this is just an example um, I'm gonna say for the canvas extent and I'll run that and right down below I have my buildings. There we go. Okay, so we have some data in here within this extent. What we want to do is go to our project and come down here to New Print Layout. And we can give that a name. I'm just going to call this Boulder, Colorado. Of course, you can name it anything you like. So what this is going to do is open up a separate window from your main project window. And just so you know, if you accidentally close out of this window, which I've done before, and I always wonder where in the heck is that print layout, what you would do is go back up here to Projects, and you go here to Layout Manager, or better yet, Layouts, and there's Boulder, Colorado. So if I click here, I get my layout. Otherwise, if I hit Project and go Layout Manager, sorry, I have two screens, it popped up over here. But here's that Boulder, Colorado layout as well. So I could just double click here, and here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and add this map. Let's close out of this. This map right here to my print layout. And what we're going to do is come down here to Add Map. And you could just come right to the edge and fill up the whole canvas if you like. Or if you don't want that, you could always adjust it by bringing this down, bringing this in, and bringing that up. And what I'm going to do is actually create a little sidebar here. So I'm going to bring this all the way into about here. So that's just a quick way to bring in the map. And when you click onto the map, you're going to have these map properties. And there's a lot of different variations, different um, customizations you could use here. I'm not going to go over all of them, but just some of the basic ones. So if I want to put a frame around this, I can hit this frame. And I could change the color from black to any other color you would like, and the thickness, and of course the style around the corners. So as you see if I click off it, there's a little bit of a border. I will go ahead and make that a little bit thicker so you can see. I already kind of see that getting a little thicker. So it's just a nice way to 
kind of add a little more style to the map. Okay. So what we could do is add a little sidebar here. And to do that, you could come right over here to add shape, add a rectangle. And I'm going to put it right about here, bring it down. There we go. And same thing, if I click onto that, I have the main properties. And what I want to do is go ahead and change the style around the border and make it a little bit thicker. So if I come up here, I'm going to batch it to my map, which is 0.5 millimeters, and it was black. There we go. So that, that matches. Okay, the next thing we do is add some text or add a label. If we click up here and we just kind of draw a rectangle in here. This is our text box. This lorem ipsum is just a default um, name that you could just erase. And I'm going to say Boulder, Colorado. And a couple things you could do here is you can select it. You can change the font. You could, and the font size, you could default to some recent fonts you have, or if you just click onto here, you could change the font type here and the size. Now the alignment, as you can see, is up in the upper left corner. What I could do, I could just say center the alignment. I could keep it at the top or I could bring it down to the middle. I'll just keep it up to the top here. And we could bring the font size up just a little bit more. Again, this is not going to be perfect. I'm just going to go through just some examples of how you could create your print layout and um, and then, of course, you guys could go from there. So we've got Boulder, Colorado, the name of the map. And we could add our legend, which is right here. And again, I could just draw some sort of a square or rectangle. And it just puts in my layers right here. And we could give it a title if you wanted to. You could say legend. I typically don't, but you could certainly do that. You can switch the symbols from left to right, whatever you prefer. And down below that, we could add a scale bar. And again, we could change, you know, once you have it highlighted, you could change the properties. You could change it from meters to miles to kilometers, whatever you like. Save miles, extend that out. And you could change the whatever you choose, you can actually change the, the label for that unit. So if I don't like MI, I can say miles and it changes right there. You could change the label units to however you like. I'm just going to leave it there. Of course, you can stretch it out. In this case, it probably makes more sense to keep it at feet. Okay, and we can also add a north arrow by clicking the north arrow button here and drawing that out. Once you're selected here, you can go to your arrow symbols and you can change that if you like. Okay, I'm going to choose this one and what we could do is we could change the fill color if you like. Do something like that, and as you see, the north was probably defaulted white, so that's why it came in when I chose a, a color. Let's go ahead and make that black, actually. And of course, you could change the placement, you could change the rotation if you need to, add a frame around it if you wanted to, whatever you like. Again, this is just some examples on how to make that layout. 
let's go bring that down. Okay. Very good. And what I like to do is actually add a vicinity map because some people might not ex know exactly where in Boulder, Colorado these retail buildings are located. So what we could do is select this main area here. This is my uh, my box I put off to the side. And what we could do is come over here to add a map. Go ahead and draw that in here, wherever you like to add it. And again, you can always move the edges around after you you, you pulled it in. You could always zoom in to do something a little finer. Finer corrections. Something like that. Okay, so you'll notice in the item properties, it says map 2, which is our vicinity map. If I click over here on the main map, it says map 1. So it just showing you that this is an entirely different map, but we could customize this differently. There's a couple options here on the top where you could match the extent to the main canvas. Um, you could change a couple, um, you could basically change the uh, the scales or the extents, however you like. What I want to do, since it's a vicinity map, I want to select all the uh, items here in the map, just to kind of show, show you where they're at, and then zoom out. So if we come down here to Overviews, we hit the plus sign. So Overview 1, you can have multiple, and you could uh, also delete it if you like simply by hitting the plus and arrow in minus keys. So down here under map frame, if we select map one, you see right now that the frame was created over the extent of, of all of our, our buildings there. Of course, if our extent was bigger, this will be bigger. We could change the color of this if you would like. I'll just keep this kind of pinkish color. So we can zoom out of this just a, a little bit more. If we come all the way up to the top to the scale, and if I start zooming away, I could go as far as I like to wherever my preferences are. So I'm kind of showing some other, I'm still within the city of Boulder here, but let me go out a little bit further. even further than that okay so that might be good so if people are familiar with Boulder you know they they could see this vicinity map and say okay it's within this area and here's a little more detailed version of it you could play around with that but this again it's just showing you guys how to create this QGIS layout and add a couple items to it, such as some text, some scale bar, north arrow, vicinity map. When you're all done with that, of course, you could just save that. Save it wherever makes the most sense. And as far as printing, you can just print using this print layout button. You can also export it as an image. You can also do a export as a SVG or you could even do like a, a PDF and if I just leave it at that I say save and I just keep all the default and it looks like it's successful and here is my PDF and here's my map so hope you guys found this useful. As always, uh, please leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. Again, this is just a very quick, easy tutorial on how to use QGIS and create a map layout. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.